What's up guys? Um, today we've uh, got something a little different. I've managed to blag off a good friend of mine, uh, GTX 980 Ti. Uh, big thanks to Jack for letting me borrow this. I think he's had it about a week, so uh, just to prize it out of his hands so we can give a give a little bench test. Um, just going to go over the basics of it really in this video. We're going to see if it fits in the amplifier. I haven't checked to see if it will on uh, on the NVIDIA website or on the Alienware forum to see if it's actually going to fit. I've had a few people ask me if we can do this and uh, you know, like I said he bought it and I was like can I borrow that? Winner. Um, it's a little bit more powerful than the 980 that I've got. Um, so we're going to put that in some bench tests and see how much more powerful, what sort of FPS we're going to get increases, hopefully increases on top of my, my GTX 980. Um, I think the difference between that one and my one, this one's an MSI 980 Ti, and my one is a GTX 980, it's an EVGA card. Um, it's quite a low profile one, similar to the EVGA that I've got, so I'm hoping it's going to fit, it looks a bit longer, it's a 6 gigabyte card instead of a 4. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll see if there's uh, some vast improvements on some FPS, and we'll go. Uh, Get stuck into it really. Okay, I've taken the two screws out the top here that we need to, and taken off the power supply to the board as well. When taking up the card, remember you've got a tiny little clip down the back here holding it in. It's very easy to forget about it and try and yank it out. There we go. Make sure that you have somewhere nice to put the card, some anti static. Ti here, which is still a box. Okay, nice and wrapped. You can see it's a reference card, so it's actually in a in an actual casing as well. When you compare it to the size, I don't think there's a great deal between the two. Really, there's not. Much difference in size, I think this one may be half an inch longer, which I don't think is going to be an issue. Let's just drop this one back in. Now I'm hoping that NVIDIA's graphics driver will pick this up under the same driver, I'm not going to have to uninstall it and reinstall it and faff about. So fingers crossed that it will pick up the GTX 980 driver and that will be the end of it. There'll be no aggravation. And once you've done that, all we need to do is drop in the power supply. And we should be good to go. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll get it all plugged in and we'll uh, shoot back in frame. Okay, got the power, power leads connected. Had a bit of fun trying to get them done. Drop in the two screws that secure it into place. Don't want it bouncing around in there, losing the connection. See, that's not going anywhere. And it fits. Lovely. So, yeah, panic over. That's all fitted. Uh, I'm just going to connect it all back up and then we'll boot to it on the, uh, on the Alienware 15 and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got the amplifier back in place, it's all plugged in, it's ready to go. Make sure whenever you're connecting the amp to the Alienware that you've always got it off. And they always do so, make sure it is um, completely off before you connect it and disconnect it. I haven't checked to see if the drivers are going to work with it, we're literally just going to boot it up and see if it goes. You may be able to hear the uh, amplifier just start to kick in. Always does that double take when it first turns on, it cuts off and then reboots. And like I said before, I'm hoping that the uh, graphics card for the EVGA GTX 980 is the same for the TI version. I'm assuming it will be as they're very similar, the same model. Um, I'm just hoping that they're going to both work on the same graphics card driver because that's going to be a bit of a nightmare having to uh, uninstall and then try and find the recent one, reinstall it and so on and so forth. So with a bit of luck it will just boot up and detect the TI card. Um, yeah, it is a bit slow booting up. That's mainly because my SSD drive is practically full. I mean, when it was sufficiently not full, I was getting boot up times of about 10 seconds, but it's at least 30 seconds, if not a bit longer now. Um, 
Oh, and I've got updates there as well. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, we get the standard flickering that we normally get when it first kicks in. Get you into high performance. There we go. That is going to be better for the screen if it's on. Yeah, I think it's better for you guys to see it if it's on. On balance instead of high performance. Um, we'll open up the device manager and see if it has picked it up. I mean, it normally does all this flickering, which is not, which is not. Ah, okay. I think that's answered my question, as you may or may not know. The device driver here, it's saying basic display adapter, so it's not picked it up. Um, I'm gonna have to go away and find it, and we'll uh, we'll re we'll resume once I've figured this out. Okay, so after multiple blue screens, system restores, uh, driver downloads, installations, it would appear that the GTX 980 Ti is not compatible with the amplifier. Um, it literally just blue screens the hell out of the computer every time I try and reboot it. It's knackered my OS a couple of times. I had to restore it. Um, it's just not going to work. I have done some research on some forums and there's multiple people with the same problem I have and there was a fix. They said that you can install the graphics card driver when the amplifier is connected. I did try this. It did detect the card but then requested for a restart and upon restart I hit blue screen for a third time. So I kind of gave up with that. Um, there has been several people who have spoken to Dell and various techs and they've said that they're going to release a driver in August and considering we're the 23rd of July it's only a week or so away so I'll, hopefully it will come out at the beginning of August and I will follow up this video with the 980 Ti graphics card FPS slash bench test if I can get it off my friend again which I'm sure he'll let me um, but yeah, unfortunately, there's the answer to your question. People have been asking me at the moment. It won't work. It's not compatible, only due to drivers. And hopefully, uh, they will re resolve it by uh, releasing a new driver.